What's up, guys? Welcome to the Crypto Savvy channel. Let's get into the charts and see what's going on. We'll take a look at our macro view. As you guys know, I have two bearish counts that say we go to new lows by the end of the year. I still think these are in play, but could that change? It is possible. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel for daily updates. Um, I hadn't made a video in the last couple days, as you guys know, about the house. Um, it is so close. We actually got a move in date now, but we still have some other things to work out there. So I've been spending a lot of time over there. Um, but anyways, I wanted to bring this video up. We're going to take a look at a tweet. I tweeted out Tuesday uh, just to show you guys we were expecting all of this. There's nothing big. I know a lot of exit liquidity is being entered into the markets, in my opinion. But there's some exciting news about Prime XBT. Also, as you guys know, they sponsor this channel. They are doing futures trading now. I'll, um, so that is very exciting for those of you that want to get into the actual futures trading. Um, it's a little bit different platform on the Prime XBT platform, but you'll definitely want to check that out if that interests you. Also, we're going to be taking a look at XRP and BNB. Um, and a lot of people are saying there's not enough time to drop um, to the new lows that I've been expecting since December 2nd, 2021, when I had said the end of this year, we would see the bottom. I said September, October-ish. Could it go a little longer? It's possible. Um, it's Nothing's exact, right? But I do expect us to go much lower, and I will show you what I'm looking at. So let's take a look at the weekly, right? This is the one, this is the five-wave count going to, now this count gets invalidated if we break this low here. And that was at about, 20 or 32.8 to 32.9 range. If we break that, then this count is invalid. Does that mean that we're not going to new lower lows? No, that just means we're going up a little bit more before we come down. But you can also look at this weekly RSI right here. If we break this weekly RSI trend line here, that would be probably either the 55 EMA, which is around 27,100, or the 200 EMA at 25.6. So if we break that, we're probably going to have a capitulation drop. So be careful, guys, because as you can see right here in the RSI, uh, there's really not a lot there, right, to stop anything. So just be careful. I do think this could go down pretty quick at some point here. Not saying today, not saying tomorrow, but when it does break, it's probably going to get very ugly. So be careful, be cautious. Also, we look at this yellow trend line here that shows bearish divergence, higher highs on the price. Lower highs on the RSI. And then if we look at the white trend lines, right? These are not like channel trend lines, guys. These are showing you highs and lows, or highs, actually. The white trend line here, we had lower highs. We had higher highs on the RSI. That is hidden bearish. The trend is down. Hidden in a downtrend means a continuation of the downtrend, right? All right, let's. Here's another count. We could look at this as a five wave count in a wedge, right? Or A, B, C, D, E, however you want to count it. Whatever makes you happy, do it that way. We can look at the MACD. We are still crossed on the weekly. Now, if this flips up and crosses again, that could change stuff. But as of now, it hasn't really changed anything. Oh, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up. Leave your comments below. That's how you help get this video out there. Commenting, making sure you smash the like button, share the video. Uh, definitely do that. It does help out the channel. Let's take a look at that trend line I showed you in the RSI, right? Matches up with this red trend line on the price action. So that shows us, it's actually showing about the 55 EMA. If we drop through there, it's probably going to be pretty ugly and that's around the 27 1 27 2 range on this red line if we break that guys it's probably gonna get ugly for the next couple months now people saying we don't have enough time to drop well all we have to do is look at the history of bitcoin right let's take a look from this high from the 65,000 all the way down to 29,000 right about 24000 somewhere in there, $24,000 drop. Let's take a look at how long that took. Uh, where is my measurement tools? Where the heck are they? Oh, here we go. So let's take a look at that real quick. Let's measure from the 69 high to the 28 high. It took... 70 days approximately, this is a weekly, so 10 weekly bars, right? 10 weeks. 
let's take a look from the 69, right? To the, what was this low? About 20, 30, around 32. So 69 to 32. Uh, was what like a twenty some thousand dollar move, right? And that took eleven weeks, seventy seven days, approximately eleven weeks to drop from sixty nine to thirty two, actually over thirty thousand dollars, right? Now let's take a look at this one here from this high here at forty eight thousand. When we went all the way down to seventeen, right? How long did that take? Seventy seven days from forty eight to seventeen. Right, $31,000 in 11 weeks. Now let's take a look at our high, which was back here in July 23rd. Let's go out 70 weeks. That would be September. Uh, 80, 90 weeks would be October. So guys, we have plenty of time to get this drop. I think we're gonna see a massive capitulation. Be cautious out there. I've been trying to warn you guys of this forever. But you have all these super bullish people talking about the having cycle and blah, blah, blah. That little four-year cycle has nothing to do with the macro environment, right? So taking a look at it in the bigger picture. Remember, guys, we're going to go over the smaller time frames here in a minute. Um, but before we do, let's just take a look at these high-volume node areas, right? We have one at 35,000, 68,000, and 96 below us. And I've also showed you there are CME gaps down there. There's also a CME gap right around 12,000 too. So just be careful, guys. I know everyone's super bullish. Guys, when it's time to be bullish, I will be extremely bullish. I'm just nothing showing me to be bullish yet. I've showed you guys this false rally. We talked about this happening way back here, right? Getting a big bounce, false bottom, getting everyone bullish, getting 100% rally only to make new lower lows. This is getting exit liquidity in. There are people dumping on your heads if you're buying right here let's take a look at the tweet i put this out on tuesday right we'll zoom in it says looking to add to my btc shorts at 29.6 and 30,200 if we reach them here's the chart i showed you we're going to look at that chart here in a minute but as you can see i told you watch for this trend line right here 29.655 we came up we hit it, we went through it, and then I told you, I, the 30,200 range, nailed it, and then it came back down. Now let's look at the chart, but before we do, check out Prime XBT, by far my favorite exchange. They don't trade against you. You don't get all the scam wicks that you get in the scammy exchanges that are actually trading their own crypto against their users, so be careful with that. Uh, you can trade Forex, Gold, Silver, S&P, Dow Jones, everything all from one exchange. You can use my promo code Savvy50. That'll get you up to a $7,000 bonus. Savvy25 will get you 25% off your fees. Also, there is a trading competition starting tomorrow. Sign up using my link below. It's totally free. You go into the contest section. Tomorrow, mine will pop up. It's called the Savage Trading Competition. Definitely join it. Like I said, it's totally free. You can actually win prizes. I think there's going to be a $500 prize and two $250 prizes. So definitely check it out. Um, also, they are adding right here, futures trading. Um, I think I may be in the first batch of people to get it, but they will be adding it if you don't have it. But right now... Um, I just got this message. I don't know if it happened today or what. I haven't been on here a lot. But as you can see, they are adding crypto futures. You can see it right here. Actual futures trading up to 200x. Be careful with that stuff, guys. But uh, they're using trading view charts in this. So definitely check it out if you haven't already. Let's get into my next chart. So here's that chart I just showed you on the tweet. And let's look at what happened there. So we went up, we tagged it, tagged a 26.9 or 29.6, came up, got rejected at our trend line like we expected, didn't quite get to the 30,000 or 30,271. Nevertheless, we're getting rejected at our fib line right here. That's our 0.236 fib. Our next, we should at least come down to touch this 29 again, but if we do break that, then we go down to our lower lows. But as you can see, we got rejected again here at 29.6, the second time we came up to get it. 
Right now, the 200 EMA is our only support as of right now, and it's 29.3. We break that, and our next support's 29.2. We break that. We're going much, much lower. As you guys know, here are my targets. The blue targets are the Elliott Wave count. The, these targets here are just my measured move counts. The measured move from the drop out of this rising channel is 27.5. The measured move of the drop out of this white trend line right here, which we did came, come back up. You could invalidate that, but I'm still going to keep that down there about 27,000. Either way, I'm still looking for these lower targets at least. And like I said, guys, this could get very ugly and go much, much further down by the end of the year. So be careful. Let's take a look at BNB. BNB B compared to the FTT chart, right? I've been telling you guys, watch for this. I started talking about this over six months ago. We drew this in there. Guys, I would be extremely careful if you're playing in BNB. And that's the other thing. On Prime, you can actually, if you're in the future section, you can trade BNB, right? Maybe a huge opportunity is just shorted in there. So definitely check that out. And let's look at XRP. Here's the XRP chart I've been talking about. The yellow trend line up here that we always wick to. We did not quite get up to it, but you can see the white trend line. We never open or close a weekly candle above it. We got rejected there again. Not looking good for XRP, guys. I see us going as low as 25. If that breaks, four cents. Yes, I said it, four cents. Say it's impossible, just like they said it was impossible for Bitcoin to go below 20K when I started talking about it. Well above 60,000. So just be careful out there, guys. Uh, make sure to make your own decisions. Don't base it on anybody's opinion, including my own. Uh, but if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you leave a comment below. If you didn't enjoy the video, leave a comment below. Smash that thumbs up, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy, guys. I'm